another what I eat Wednesday you know how it goes over here on my channel we are just gonna be going through everything that I'm eating today I am on a postpartum fitness journey I am a stay-at-home mom of two and I am trying my hardest while giving myself love and grace to lose the last little bit of this baby weight my son TJ is 15 months old and I gained about 40 pounds with him it's like 38.5 but I am currently at 153 pounds and I was 147 pounds. So I have, what is that, six pounds left to go. And yes, it has taken me 15 months to get to this point. So six of those months I was breastfeeding or exclusively pumping and I didn't lose hardly any weight during that time. I was one of those people that held on to weight you know, because that is a myth that you lose weight if you breastfeed, that doesn't happen for everyone. I make these videos here on my channel every single Wednesday to just kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm eating. Now, I do typically follow a very strict low carb to keto diet, and that has been like the standard for my channel, I'd say for like the last eight or nine months or so, and I have had massive success with that. However, I did a round of Whole30 in September, and I found that, you know, your girl does miss a little bit of carbs, so now I'm trying to focus more on paleo-based. I try to eat less processed sugar and sugar substitutes, and I also try to just eat a more well-balanced lifestyle, and I still do eat low-carb, and I also try to stick to lower dairy now because I found during that round of Whole30 that dairy does not do your girl's stomach good, okay? Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend the Whole30 to anybody who feels like they might have any food sensitivities. I do have a couple of videos on my channel about my experience on the Whole30, so yeah, if you guys want me to talk more in depth about that, just leave me a comment down below and I can go into depth about my entire experience with Whole30 and how that all went. It's breakfast time right now. We just got back from dropping my daughter off at school, so I'm going to be having one of these Jimmy Dean's turkey sausages, and I'm also gonna scramble up an egg, and I'll probably have this with some avocado, and this is gonna be my breakfast. I'm also gonna share some with TJ, so I'm gonna make him a sausage patty too. So good. All right, so it looks like a bloody horror scene over there cutting up my pomegranate, but I have one little flush piece of that with half an egg because I shared with TJ, but I do have two sausage patties, so this is going to be my breakfast. I'm not really feeling like cutting up an avocado right now, so this is gonna do it. Okay, so this is the coffee pot for today, Starbucks vanilla, and I'll show you guys what I use for creamer and stuff. This stuff has been like my absolute favorite recently. It's the Silk Half and Half Dairy Free. Um, I think this stuff is so good. I feel like it gives the coffee a nice richness, so I'm gonna be using this. No sweetener today, um, I'm just gonna go without, and that's gonna be my coffee. Okay, so it's two o'clock right now and I'm not really feeling super hungry. So I got this vanilla salted caramel ice up here and I'm gonna make myself a quick protein shake. Um, I'm gonna use half an avocado um, as opposed to like a frozen banana. I've just got some ice and water in here as my base. I do have a few dates because I'm gonna add like maybe one in there for some sweetness, um, some spinach, and then I'm gonna add in some hemp hearts and I think I have some chia seeds. I'm gonna look, um, but if not, I'll add those as well. I am surprised surprisingly not feeling super hungry right now um 
I kind of am in like a snacky mood, but I know I should probably eat something because it's like that window before dinner and like, if I don't eat anything at this time, I find that I am constantly snacking like at nighttime when I shouldn't be eating or when I don't like to eat. I don't want to say shouldn't be eating, but I just personally prefer not to go to sleep with like a heavy stomach. I like to do a tablespoon of these hemp hearts, so I'm just going to like add in about a tablespoon of my with my hand. I eyeball it. Um, but anyways, I like to make sure that I am eating small meals or you know just eating something nutritious throughout the day so that way at night time when your girl is feeling real snacky i don't have to overindulge on the sweet stuff so Now I'm gonna try and get some work done because I didn't hardly get anything done today. And I will see you guys at dinner. We're just having leftovers tonight, so real exciting over here. I just made these pizza bagel bites for my kids and they look so good. I made them from scratch and I want one so bad, but um, it was my birthday yesterday and we had ribs, so they don't have any sauce on them. Um, so I'm just going to eat that. And then it also did come with some greens. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the ribs and some greens and I'm gonna show you guys the Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce that I'm gonna use on these, so good. And that's gonna be my dinner. I'll show you guys a plate here in a second, but super simple. I know I'm not doing anything real fancy, but this stuff is so good. Just regular old greens, bacon, you know, real Southern. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys know I'm a hoop. But anyways, um, these were bomb. I got these from a restaurant in Linwood when we were visiting, um, picking up my kids yesterday from my mom's house. So I'm excited to have these again. This is the barbecue sauce. It's just the classic barbecue from Primo Kitchen. And I'm just gonna sauce my wings up, heat them up, and that's gonna be my dinner. And then you guys, this looks so good. All right, you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I really hope that you guys would consider hitting that red subscribe button. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for sticking around. I love you guys, and I'll chat soon. Bye.